I think it's very promising. Uh, I think coming on the heels of the Pfizer announcement last week, um, it wasn't entirely unexpected, unexpected given they are based on a very kind of similar technology. Um, but it's always, uh, I think, incredibly encouraging to see the results from the Pfizer vaccine backed up by the additional results from the Moderna vaccine trial. There's ultimately, I think, um, by seeing these early efficacy results, the hope is that um, the vaccine could be made available um, on an earlier basis based on these um, somewhat preliminary findings. I think that the fact that it requires two vaccinations certainly is a challenge. Um, and part of that is communicating to individuals that after they receive the first dose, that's not the end of it. They need to come back three to four weeks later, depending on the vaccine, to receive a second dose. Um, I think there will also be logistical challenges in terms of keeping track of which vaccine individuals received the first time. Um, one of the challenges that was seen with the Pfizer vaccine was this requirement for uh, minus 80 degrees Celsius storage, which only um, kind of certain research mostly facilities would have that type of, of storage for the vaccine available. Um, whereas with the Moderna vaccine, um, the cold chain requirements or the requirements for um, keeping the vaccine at the proper temperature are much more in line with um, the freezers that are available kind of in a typical um, healthcare setting. So in order to convince people to, to get the vaccine, I think you know, it's important to demonstrate that these vaccines are not, not only effective and the fact that it is very effective um, is, goes a long way to doing that, but also demonstrating that they're safe, which uh, all of the signs up till now in the, in the trials do suggest that they are also um, very safe to receive.